Welcome to the next big idea. An incredible journey of innovation, passion and game-changing ideas. Let's see what this team brings to the table. So when I was sitting in the room next by, uh, I had I was talking to people who were there already and they were telling me about where they came from, what their ideas were and they were curious about what I was doing here and all of that. So if I was in my phone like every time or like everyone does these days, I would have never learned whatever there was there, right? So when I was uh, when I joined my boarding school in my class six, that is what happened to me exactly. Uh, that that is when I learned that collaborative learning is far more interesting and useful than what we are doing these days, right? So uh, I used to explain whatever I learned to my friends and uh, who are, whoever were there who was slow in a few subjects, right? That is because uh, I felt the satisfaction of helping them and also I was able to learn without my focus and all. So that is uh, one technique that I was using when uh, I was in my college, school, right? Afterwards, when we were studying for some time, we used to take breaks in between. So we, we were doing that also. So after a few days, when I came back, came into my graduation and had to do a project in web technologies, I learned that I, I wanted to do a project based on this uh, theme that I was using for the last seven years. Okay, so when I went on to Google and searched for what techniques, uh, what what were what to what I had to implement in the website, I learned that these were actually scientific techniques that have been proven by scientists and uh, had to be used in education so that it will benefit students on a very big uh, on a, on the long run. So these are the problems that students face these days. They they do not have low. They do not have focus, and they're they have many distractions. Like kids these days have phones in their hands, and you know what happens when we have phones. They have low conceptual understanding because of all this distraction. They just want to study and pass the exam and gone. The next day if we ask questions, they're not able to answer conceptually. They have no low knowledge retention. They're not able to uh, put, their, put them in the mind what they're, what they're doing. Right? So to, as a solution to all of this, we are bringing Colon. Okay? In, in my city itself, I come from Vishakhapatnam, Andhra Pradesh. Uh, in my city itself, there are 443 schools. Right. Uh, each school has an average of 2,000 students and it is it sums up to 9 lakh students in total in my school itself. This is ex excluding the government schools. These are only the private schools. Okay, This is what we are targeting. The solutions we are bringing are Pomodoro technique for uh, uh, for students who have low focus and, uh, and they are easily distracted. Conceptual understanding can be built by Feynman technique which is by discussing in, in, communi in community collaborative learning. Low knowledge retention can be replaced with good memory systems using the Leitner system, which uses flashcards to revise whatever we have learned. And then objectiveless, uh, objectiveless learning approach. They, they're not, they do not know what they're learning for. So what we're doing is we're giving them task managers and calendars so that they can track whatever they're doing. This will do in, collab in, in addition to all the three techniques specified above. So the key differences that we have with the currently existing uh, uh, apps like these are, the, we are implementing scientific techniques in one point no one has done this. We have Pomodoro timers, but we do not have uh, the other techniques like Leitner system and Feynman system all implemented and uh, collaborated into one single app. They, we can also provide academic support to the students by using college students like me. I, I was a tutor for some point of time in my life. right? So there are many students like me who are willing to get some money by teach, teaching young students. We can provide opportunities for them. And students are also happy with all these fun learning techniques with their friends and family. Collaborative learning enhancements are there, and we are also set out to bring in happier moments in the lives of students and teachers. So the product stage is that uh, we have already developed the website as a part of my project, where we are willing to scale it to higher levels of UI and UX uh, for easy and navigation and access by the customers. We we began with using these techniques unknowingly, and then we realized for the project, we g we gave it to my college students and a student uh, a college where my friend studies. There also we have gotten good reviews. And in the room next by, when I was discussing with my friends, they also gave me good suggestions that I can implement here. And the product, uh, the product is also the need of the R now because of the all the distractions growing up these days. And if something like this comes into the market, it is really helpful because it is also in lines with the NEP that has been received, uh, released recently in the year 2020. So out of the, uh, my target is in the next 14 months, right? In by 2024, I want to go to one college, one school per month out of 12 schools, I'll have only four successes, imagine. 
So then I'll have I'll be having uh, in one school two thousand students are there. If I charge a minimal amount of twenty five rupees per student for for the school to subscribe, then I'll be having fifty thousand coming from one school, right? At the end of the twelve months, eight school eight schools will be here. Eight schools will be here, and then uh, I'll be having four lakhs per month at the end of the year. Compounding all of this, it'll be a huge amount by the end of August twenty twenty four itself. By uh, extending this, I want to scale it to twenty by twenty twenty seven. If we continue whatever we are doing for one year, for the next uh, three four years, we'll be having fifty two schools in our hand. I just want to know the innovation. Yes, the innovation is that the tools are already there, but no one use, uh, no one knows that they exist, and no one is implementing them. So what we are trying to do is with in line with the NEP that has been released, they are in search of collaborative learning implementations by students like us. So what we are doing is we are designing this website, putting in all these scientific techniques, and more. We are planning to bring in more techniques. Uh, along along uh, as we go uh, forward, and what we're doing is we want to collaborate between these three techniques itself, uh, uh, among these three te techniques itself. Like we want to collaborate Pomodoro and Feynman, right? So now they are separate, right? But afterwards, what we want to do is Feynman technique. When both, uh, when you and I, for example, if we are students, we are discussing online. Okay. Now after 20 minutes, we want the meeting to close down. We we want to have a break on our own, and then we want to join the meeting again. It's actually existing. Okay. Sir. Yes, sir. Uh, do you think that you can market the product to the? Yes, sir. Uh, the in the market that Vishakhapatnam, the the there is no implementation of this currently, sir. They're using uh, tools like Educomp and all for the activities, science-based activities, uh, uh, like uh, you know, balancing weights and all of that for kids. But they do not have implementations like this. Uh, I can say that in Vishakhapatnam, the the scope for Vishakhapatnam, and based on the Vishakhapatnam scope, I think you have seen the numbers. uh it it's a beneficial model for visakhapatnam and future in andhra pradesh also i think most of the schools uh, it's uh, it's not there and we're targeting schools which are backward like government schools or schools which are okay. which how are we going to add the database sir database database yeah uh, for now what we have done okay the questions we have added sir they're all, they're all, they're all in the database already uh, they we're fetching them from the database it's not embedded into the html as of now We are already fetching it from the database, and we are displaying it using PHP and all. So you are providing the service to the schools or the students. Uh, we are providing the service to schools. We are giving them subscriptions, and then we'll give IDs to every specific year, every student. So school so, should subscribe it, right? Yes, schools will subscribe to us. So what's the total cost of your software? Uh, the total cost of software is only for the development that we need, sir. Like we'll need two. How much do you need? Uh, it will take for one year. If I'll say it will take. Seven to eight lakhs for the beginning. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Because, because we'll need only developers. What security are going to pro provide, sir? Yeah, the security you are going to provide in your website. It's uh, for now. It's the trust that I can provide, uh, and I really want your mentorship. Uh, I'm not looking for any huge investment right now, uh, but what I'm looking for really is your mentorship, sir. I think you should improve um, like more into uh, adding data, yes. and because like. It's it's an existing thing, so uh, bring it a uh, kind of modification to the existing system, and uh, it's I don't think that it's applicable like to charge twenty five per student. It's not app. You told me like it's twenty five minimal per student, right? Yes. Sir. I don't think that's viable. Is it very less or very? It's very less because you have to pay a lot for the cloud. Yes, sir. For the security, yeah. mm. for the developers. Yes, sir. That is for the penetration pricing that I've been talking about. Always think in the real, real world. Sir. Don't be like. I mean, always think about the real world. Yes. You're pitching it to the investors. Yes, sir. Okay. Mm. Think about like that. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, the first is like hypothetical. Let us assume that two students are studying the same topic. Okay. So the topic might be the same. Let us say they are studying force. So these two students, uh, one student, let us hypothetically assume that mm -hmm. one student is from the middle school, mm -hmm. and the other person is from the secondary school. Yes. Sir. So both of them are logged into the system at the same time. Yes. Sir. And if somebody is having some doubt, mm -hmm. who will clarify the doubt? And how reliable uh, is that answer? So I just want, I'm just curious to know that yes, if sir. I am a layman and I want my doubts to get uh, clarified, mm -hmm. if you are giving me an answer. Mm -hmm. How do we rely on your answer? Yes, sir. Exactly. And uh, what methodology you adopt here to check the answer here? Yes, sir. So uh, it's it's more like discussing with friends itself. We are not looking for mentors inside the app. Like we are looking for friends with whom we can discuss whatever we are learning. So it's like whenever whenever I go and ask my friend a question that I have in my mind, I I'm not looking for the right answer, but I'm looking for his perspective. 
So that is what we're giving here, sir. We're not validating the answers that students are giving or the whatever they're discussing, but we're providing a platform for them to come online, to discuss, to spend some time together and learn. That's what we're doing. Well, in the sense, if I want my doubts to get clarified, mm. if both of them are not getting their doubts clarified, then whom they will approach? There are many other students who will be on the platform. No, no, hypothetically assuming that only two people are there okay, sir. on a particular instance. Uh -huh. So let us say some experts will be joining that uh, yes, platform at a later point. We can add that up. module then, okay. uh, where, wherein there are experts who are in the app who are ready to answer. Like I told you, no, sir, there are students who are willing to help younger, younger kids. Uh -huh. we, can, we can bring them in, in that scope. Okay. So we can bring them in and we can pay them a, a, a charge for answering questions, like, like check. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. So there's Good. an application. Like so you have been to any schools, uh, talking to any, speaking to any correspondent yes, of the school. So what is their uh, feedback? Yes, sir. I've gone to my own school. I was in, uh, I told you I was in a boarding school at, from class six. Before that, I was in a school nearby my home. It's called Little Angel School. I went there. I have a very close teacher there, sir. She, she teaches me social science. She taught me social science. Her name is Manjula. So what, what she told me is kids are interested in it's, it's things like this, but it needs to be far more user intuit interactive. Like it has to be very easy for the kids to use it. Like now I showed you the implementation. It is not very UI UX friendly. So we, we should make that. That is what they suggested. So my, uh, from my point, I like, uh, before going into the subscription model, uh, for the first instance, I prefer that uh, you give an alpha beta model to the schools in and around your cities so that they will be uh, like familiar what's the product is because uh, like schools own, uh, don't have an idea like with these techniques, right? So uh, my, uh, from my point, I like you to give an alpha uh, subscriptions to the schools so that they could be familiar with this model so that they will be more familiar and and next step will be they will be subscribing subscribing it so this is what my suggestion is have you have you identified the con uh, the, the reasons for low conceptual thinking what is the order and how do you say that this payment technique is going to replace or going to so what we're having is they co th there is one core problem for all of this focus that we're losing sir it's the uh, uh, device in our pockets. So phones are the devices which are tra taking most of our time unknowingly. We do not know that we're spending lots of time, but we are really spending time on that. So because of this, we're losing lots of time. And when it's high time, when it's exam time or when it's time to submit a project, we're doing something that is just enough to uh, pass that exam or give the project and submit the project itself. We're not looking at it at a, a huger scope. Like we want to improve this. We want to give the best that we can. So we're not doing that. So that is the main cause of losing focus, distraction, and conceptual learning. Sir. So what we can do using Feynman technique and Pomodoro technique is that we can focus on, because we'll make friends, we'll, we'll make new connections and friends. And whenever there are new people coming into our lives, we're interested, intuitively, we are interested to give our best to the person. We want to display the best version of ourselves. So then we'll try to become a better version of ourselves every day. So we'll focus on the things that are needed only. So okay, anyway, there are other reasons also. You need to identify those reasons for low conceptual thinking. And uh, there could be other techniques also. You can work on those techniques. And yes. payment technique may not be the only uh, technique the available. Are available. So yes, you, can, you, sure. have, you have to go for a variety of techniques. Okay, yeah. good. Thank you. And now it's time for judge's opinion about the pitch. So, it was a good one. 